Now the controversial electronic transfer levy, otherwise known as the e-levy, which was implemented in May 2022, was suspected to rake in some 6.9 billion Ghana cities by the end of the year, but was later reviewed by government to some 4.5 billion Ghana cities due to some um, challenges with the passage of the tax. Now, several people, especially those in the downstream um, value chain, raised questions about its passage, especially the Momo agents who said that it was going to take a toll on their businesses with some citizens who patronize the mobile money transaction, saying that it was also going to impact negatively on their finances. Now, it's been three months down the line, and how has this particular tax been faring so far? The tax policy, after stiff opposition from stakeholders, particularly the minority caucus in parliament, was passed into law to be implemented at a reviewed rate from 1.75% to 1.50%. However, getting customers to continuously engage in electronic transactions in order to pay the levy has been unsuccessful. A survey by Imani Ghana with other stakeholders in June this year revealed that government revised estimated 4.5 billion Ghana cities target was not feasible. New data from the Finance Ministry reveals that 92.7 million Ghana cities have so far been rigged in, amounting to about 6.2% out of the 4.5 billion projected yearly amount. A further breakdown on a month-on-month basis shows that out of the projected 418 million Ghana cities to be collected for the month of June, only 54 million Ghana cities, which signifies a 12.99%, was rigged in. An economist, Karij Buti, says this situation was expected. We saw from the beginning that um, a lot of people were averse to it. And I argued severally on different platforms that I thought the whole idea of bringing people, a lot more people to the tax net is great, but the approach they've chosen is not an optimal one because then it ends up punishing people who already pay tax. And I guess the sentiments cut across. And that is why you see a lot of people find different ways to avoid this tax. And tax avoidance is not crime, really. This mobile money agent I spoke to on condition of anonymity attributes the declining figures to deliberate efforts by customers to evade the tax. He explains how this is done to City News. As a vendor, you are paying charge for January because we have business sets and we pay we pay taxes that's every month yeah so they, they take the charges from our business set if you come you don't want to pay e-levy you tell me that you are withdrawing so when you withdraw then i send for you so it's like the same thing there is no other way again yeah the same thing okay so they withdraw as if they are withdrawing like just withdrawing and then they give it to you that you send it because you will be paying for the charges. yeah yeah the news team caught up with a section of Ghanaians who still think the tax policy must be either reviewed downwards or scrapped completely. It should have been looked at from the Ghanaian perspective because we complained initially that the tax was the tax burden is already too much. So if we are not achieving the target, it means that Ghanaians are not accepting the rate, the rate at which they are being charged. The e-levy, I think we have to scrap it because there's no use of it anymore. No, but the government said, okay, we will use the A-Levy to sort ourselves as a nation, right? Now, the A-Levy has come, and it has no use. You understand? Where the government said that we are not going there, they went there. You understand? They went there. So, we have to scrap the A-Levy. But will the scrapping of the tax policy be the ideal way to go, particularly considering the current economic hardship of the country? What you want to do is run till end of year, have a proper review with data, history of data. At this point, we are talking about with just about three months of data. When we have, say, about six, seven months of data and you can do some trend analysis to determine where the causes of the default are, why people are not interested, if you can pick some trends, then informs what policy decision you take as to whether to continue, whether to revise the rate down what, or to do something else to it. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Edu Amansa.